Hello, welcome to Brain Injured and Bored, week 49, episode 22 or 23, I think it's 22. Uh, I hope you can hear me, my air conditioner's on and you're sitting right under it, so I'll try to talk a little louder, but hi, this is Brain Injured and Bored. Um, this is being filmed and posted later than it normally is because this morning I had a doctor's appointment and then my dad hung out and did some work here. Okay, well, my dad hung out and did some work and I don't like filming when other people are around. Um, so I'm filming this later. If I look like a hot mess, that's because I am. I just went on my hot girl walk. I'm trying to walk 20 minutes every day. Um, and yeah, I'm in the early stages, so I'm, it's very tiring. I'm very tired and sweaty, especially because it's so hot outside, but whatever. Um, hi. So I kind of, I guess I kind of have a lot to talk about. Um, I did not do so good last week. Last week, I almost passed out slash I did kind of pass out at my physical therapy that was on Wednesday. Yeah, on Wednesday uh, of last week. And that was a really crazy experience. What all, I felt fine, nothing had happened. You know, I had um, I had gone to hairspray and then I had my mom's birthday party that I went to and I, it was all great, I had a great time. And then that Wednesday, um, I went to physical therapy, it was totally fine. And then I, when I was at hairspray, my, um, my neck and shoulders and back hurt really bad. Like they're really sore and achy because I was like sitting up straight and I haven't done that. And so those muscles were just really weak and tired and they got worked. Um, and so I told that to my physical therapist and they were like, okay, well let's like do a little bit of massaging, a little bit of cupping to kind of release that tension. And then, you know, we'll start doing stretches and exercises and whatever. So um, all literally all they did was just like a little bit of massaging on my neck and my shoulders and then like some very light cupping. And I just did not feel good. They were like, how are you? I'm like, it was not good. Um, I felt just really sick, really passy outy, um, really nauseous, really hot, dizzy, like could not form thoughts or words or anything. And it wasn't, I wasn't scared. I was just confused as to why it was happening. And they were too, because it's not like I overexerted myself with an exercise or anything. Um, so yeah, that was kind of crazy. And so I really haven't felt good since then. Um, today's kind of the first day I felt kind of okay since that happened. Um, I've really just had to rest a whole lot. I haven't been pushing it. I haven't been doing a lot. Today was the first day getting back on my walks um, because I took some time off from that. And yeah, I really have not been feeling good. I think it was a mix between um, me having such big things happening like my mom's birthday party and hairspray and it's a mix between that and whatever they like massage the tissue or whatever it just had a lot of blood flow go into my brain at one time it was like a blood rush when they would get a knot out and that just threw me off so the week hasn't been really good because of that um i honestly really have just been chilling i'm starting to plan my party me and my dad went to party city and we bought a lot of decorations and i ordered a few more so if you're coming to my anniversary, there's gonna be so many pink decorate it's gonna be so fun um I'm starting to work on that and get that together I am really just trying to fucking get better I had a neurology appointment today and um I'm gonna try medication to see how that goes and see if it helps me and then I also talked to him about I think I, I mentioned this about a a concussion and brain injury recovery center in Utah that specializes in people who are still having really severe symptoms a year plus after hitting their head or having the injury or whatever it was. Um, and it's really expensive, but it looks like a really good facility and it could really help me. Um, and so we're talking to the neurologist and they're going to do some more research because they hadn't heard of it. So they're going to do some more research into this place and see if that would be something for me or if it's just a waste of money. If it's just like my sunburnt. I was literally outside for 20 minutes. Okay, whatever. Um, I need to get facial sunscreen. Future Laura, remember that. Um, so yeah, we'll see if that, I hope that's a good place. We'll hope we get some good information from that. Um, I have another doctor's appointment next week to talk to another doctor about this place. And the, the idea is to like work so hard over the summer, try everything we can, really push, push, push. And then at the end of the summer, kind of revisit and see if this place is the place to go. So we're just kind of starting the beginning stages of looking at this place. Um, and so we talked to him about that. I'm gonna try this medicine. The medicine is supposed to help with like my sensory overload when I go places and deal with stuff. So hopefully that'll work for me. Um, 
I painted my nails because I wanted, I was really bored over the weekend because my dad was sick and so the only person I had to really help me was David and of course he had other stuff that he had to do. So I had a lot of time by myself and I got bored and I tried to paint my nails and I can't use my left hand that well. I'm so shaky and I can't, I don't know, it's really weird. Um, but my dad's going out, he was here for like literally two days and he's already going out of town. So I'm not gonna have him around, but hopefully I can do some things this week. I'm worried that I'm getting sick. I have like some congestion and like some burning in the back of my throat. I might be sick. I might have COVID or something. I hope not. I mean, I haven't done anything really. I mean, I haven't been around anyone, but apparently there's like a strain that's like super popping going around. Um, so I feel kind of okay right now. I feel fine, but maybe in the morning I'll wake up feel like garbage. So we'll see. Um, yeah, we're just, I'm just really like, I've been feeling very reflective the past few days, the past week, because um, we're only three weeks away from a year since my injury. Uh, and that's pretty crazy to think about. And so I've just been very reflective on this year. And like on that bare engine and board for that day, I'm gonna just kind of go through all my thoughts. It might be like a long rambly episode that day. I'm almost back there. <laughs> Um, but I have some ideas for some videos. I want to interview my dad and I want to interview David and get their point of view of how the year has been. Cause you kind of see my point of view and I'm going to do a video of my point of view, but I wanted to get their inputs as well. And so I think that'll be interesting. And I'm just really excited for my party. I really want my party to have it. I'm thinking if I am sick right now, then like, that's fine. Oh, the air's back on. If I am sick right now, that's fine. Because like, I'd rather be sick now than be sick like later and not have my party pop off pop off um i'm really excited a lot of people said they're like wanting to come which is super cool so um yeah i did not after my bonked and beautiful that i filmed did not feel good felt my head and my eyes were hurting so bad the next day so needed to tone it down on the eyeshadow a little bit um and <clears throat> pop off girlfriend Get a bitch, get a girl. Um, I have a whole list of stuff that I want to do. I right now I I'm at like a really frustrating point because there's all these things that I want to try to do. There's all these things that I want to do, um, and I feel like I need to do to really push and to see how I'm doing. But I'm not. I don't have the resources to do them because my dad has been sick, so I'm having to depend on David. And now my dad's out of town, and so it's still on David. But David has stuff he has to do, and David's wanting to start a job soon. And I just feel like I don't have enough, not enough people. I just don't feel like there's enough time and enough resources because I mean, all I do is sit around and do nothing. I have my appointments, but like that's it. Other people have jobs, they have lives, they have friends, they have whatever to like go do. And I would like to go hang out with friends. I would like to go do all the stuff, but there's just so much planning that goes into it. I'm like, are these people free? Is like David free to take me in? You know, especially with like, wanting to go to Whole Foods and look for gluten-free food. I have to wait till someone's free and available and I have an appointment every single day of the week and um, I just feel like I don't have enough resources. And that's really frustrating and I really wish I had more people to help me. Um, I honestly wish someone just like lived here and w like whenever I felt ready or uh, like I had a good time, we could just go do something. Um, I really wish I could see my friends and hang out with them or like they come here or me try to go there but it just hasn't been working out and it's been really frustrating for me not in all of them, but it's been really frustrating for me because i just sit here um and do nothing and that was like okay i mean it wasn't okay it was never been okay but it was tolerable you know because i didn't feel good but now that i'm feeling a little better and i want to try new things it's like really frustrating um, and so I've been dealing with that and I'm hoping that once like my dad comes back and we get kind of back in our normal rhythm that I can like this will, I can do this and it'll take some pressure off David so that you know he can take me to go do things um, more fun things instead of like the boring like appointment things um, but yeah I am just kind of at a crossroads so if you're a friend and you're watching this please help me <laughs> Um, oh, fuck up that fish. Um, if you're also watching this um, and you're coming to my party, I hope you're very excited. I will let you know all the deets as soon as I know them all. Um, so, yeah, I guess I'm just feeling really lonely and I just want to get this over with. Oh my god. 
my battery thing popped up. I have less than 20%. Um, and also, I the doctor today said that some of my symptoms could last up to three years because I said like we wanted to revisit this uh, the center after a year. And she's like, well, some of these symptoms can last up to three years or they can be life. She doesn't think any of them are gonna be lifelong for me, but it could take up to three years. And I said, don't fucking tell me three years. I don't wanna do this for three years or do any version of this for three years. Nala would be fine with it. <laughs> um, so yeah, well, my throat kind of hurts and I'm hot from my hot girl walk. So I'm going to go. I will see you next week. If I feel good this week, if I don't get sick, I want to film my concussion cooking. Um, so that might be out. And I'm going to go eat my leftover acai bowl. By the way, I'm in this place because it's like later at night and so the lighting isn't good where I normally sit, which is like over there. So I'm like kind of where I have a light source. I don't know if I said that. That was gross burp, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, I gained 10 pounds since I stopped my birth control, which is really frustrating. But then my dad reminded me that I have an able body that is trying to be healthy and that's true. And I was talking to him how I need to like clean up my eating since, you know, I've gained a little bit of weight, I need to like eat a little healthier. Uh, and he was saying, remember when you couldn't eat and your whole job was just to lay in bed and make sure your organ doesn't explode. And I was like, that's fair. That's very fair. I should be grateful. So that's another thing I'm working on. So yeah, I guess I'll just see you guys next week. This is a quick, short, sweet, uh, brain injured board because I didn't do it today. I was not gonna do something cute. You're gonna see a fun trick. You're gonna see me in my like pajama. I hope you enjoyed that demonstration of my cat being cute. You're cute. Come here. I love you. I love you too. Now it's doing good. Her paw's good. All right, fine. All right, goodbye. The stupid, I keep, I literally always forget. It's bad that I have memory issues, but then I, whatever. Bye.